Hello, I'm Martin Dory and you're watching Adorama TV. Today I'm going to be looking at taking basic stills with your GoPro camera and also using the Wi-Fi remote to capture scenes remotely. Adorama TV presents Capture the Action with Martin Dory. Your GoPro camera isn't just a video camera, it can take fantastic 12 megapixel stills as well. It will allow you to do time lapse, photo bursts, and take sequences of shots really easily. And with the Wi Fi remote, you can get right there in the action without actually having to press the shutter. Using your GoPro to take a selfie is really easy. It's a super wide angle, and everything's in focus, so you just press the shutter. Boom, there it is. So that's the basic selfie. But things get much more interesting when you start to look for better angles on a selfie stick, for example. The trouble is with this, how are you gonna to get to the shutter? That's when the Wi-Fi remote comes into its own. So once you've paired up your Wi-Fi remote with the camera, you can use it in exactly the same way as you would the app, to fire the shutter remotely. The two buttons are the same as they are on the camera, so it's exactly the same way of selecting functions. Also, you can pair up up to 50 GoPros at a time using one Wi-Fi remote. So if you had some major action, you could take shots all at the same time using one remote. It's fantastic. Meanwhile, let's get a great selfie. Check out Adorama's latest contest here for great prizes. You can also program your camera to take more than one shot when you press the shutter. It will take three, five, or 10, depending on what you think is best. It's great for capturing action. Let's try it. However, if you wanted to capture a more intense piece of action, for example, if the camera was mounted on a bike going over a jump or something like that, you can do it with photo burst mode. This will take a burst of shots ranging from three in one second to 30 in three seconds, and it will capture the whole bit of action. We'll try it now. Now I'm using a little gorilla pod to set the camera up, and don't forget I'm controlling all of this from the Wi-Fi remote. Here it goes. So photo burst is fantastic for capturing quick action, but what about when the action's a little slower, say the sun's going down and you want to capture that? The GoPro will allow you to take one frame every half, one, two, five, 10, 30 or 60 seconds, and you can use video editing software to put them all together to make a smooth video sequence. And we'll talk about that in another episode. It is fantastic for capturing slow action. Like Chris the cameraman, packing away the studio. Let's have a look. Okay, that's it for now. Next time we'll be out and about talking about housings, quick release buckles and basic mounts. Don't forget to visit the Adorama Learning Centre for more tips and tricks and don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more videos. Just click on the link below. Finally, let us know what you think. Like, comment, share this video. And if there's anything you need to know, just ask. See you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.